Hi, Sam here from our van RV. Welcome back to the beautiful Mornington Peninsula foreshore here at Rosebud. Today, we're showing you through the new Atlantic Endeavour E1871F mid door bush pack, double bunk, full en suite, queen bed, family caravan, and only 18 foot seven. That's right, only 18 foot seven. This van is absolutely amazing. So let's get it all backed in here and we'll show you through the van. We can't wait to show you. So just on the front of the van here, uh, we've got our Roadrunner chassis with the extended A-frame. Got a double clamp with a Magnatec Sidewinder jockey wheel as standard. Makes that a lot easier for connecting and disconnecting. We've got our DO35 Cruise Master off-road fully articulating coupling uh, with a breakaway system with a curly wazza cord to be able to stop that from dragging on the ground. We've got our safety chains complete with stowaway hooks to stop the uh, chains from dragging on the ground. And the uh, coupling comes with an integrated handbrake system uh, which is really easy to operate and then the van is equipped with a 12 pin plug and an Anderson plug just to make sure that we can get all those lights and fridges and everything all working well while you're touring around. DO35 coupling comes complete with the pin to go onto your tow bar and these are Australia's most favourite and most widely used coupling. We're just gonna take you for a quick spin around the outside of the van now. Beautiful looking van. Silver composite panel cladding, higher checker plate. Uh, just an absolutely striking looking van. Most popular color combination we've done in a long time. And as you can see on the back, rear view camera and a rear light uh, bumper with the spare wheel. We'll even throw in a spare wheel cover for you. Um, have a quick look down the other side. Bunk windows there, large size fridge vents for the T-rated fridge, we'll run into that a little bit later. Double size battery box, toolbox on the front, front light there that you can turn on for connecting up your uh, your van to your, to your car just to illuminate things at night time. Hi, I'm Sam from Our Van RV and today I'm here to tell you about our Atlantic Endeavour E1871F double bunk family van, only 18 foot seven with double bunks and a full ensuite. I'm sure you're gonna be impressed with this one. So why don't we go inside and take a bit of a look. The Endeavour range come complete with a full security door. Uh, Atlantic are RVSA and RVMAP accredited manufacturers. And let's just go inside and take a quick look. Wow, look at that size bed. What a fantastic size bed. Queen size bed with storage underneath. Great kitchen. As you can see, bed lamps there, good bench size, nice deep stainless steel sink, four burner stove with a recessed cooktop over the top of it, uh, just to make sure that we can maximize the bench space inside this kitchen for you. Great amount of overhead storage, microwave. We've also got the range hood there, uh, gas springs, adjustable two post hinges on the cabinets, all CNC cut in our own factory. And, um, what we do like about this van is the amount of space this gives you for such a compact van. Beautiful long uh, bench lounge uh, with a adjustable table. So this is the new Overmapper uh, table, we'll run through that a bit later. Bluetooth stereo with speakers inside and out. Um, again, as I said, plenty of storage in the overhead cupboards, way more than you'd ever expect in a small camper. Uh, so plenty of room to keep all your food and other personal effects and uh, we've got laminated uh, bench tops and tabletop that you can put in uh, basically any colors you want. USB points, power points, map pocket for your books and maps. Uh, there's a concertina door that runs between the lounge area and where we're moving into now into the bunks. We've got uh, two storage drawers underneath. So each person in each bunk has got their own drawer for their own clothes and other personal effects. Uh, each of the bunks also comes equipped with a storage locker at the head end 
in behind the pillows there, which we'll go through shortly. Um, matte reading light. We've also got a uh, matte pocket there in your window with full block out blinds. Plenty of storage in these uh, bed head lockers um, or foot lockers, depending on which end <laughs> you want to keep your head at. Uh, but lots of room in there. Each bunk has got one of those. There's still uh, six foot long uh, bunks, so plenty of room. As we said, uh, top bunk's got exactly the same. So we've got um, a separate bathroom in this van with a shower on one side and your bathroom, toilet, vanity, mirror, etc. on the other. And this is the concertina door we were talking about before that just separates off the, the end of the van. So that can be closed for to maintain a dressing space. Can also be used there to be able to uh, isolate off mum and dad from the kids um, if someone wants to stay up at night time and stop keeping the light out. And um, we'll just move through now into the uh, bathroom on this one. So we've got a cassette toilet there from Thetford. Um, toilet roll holder. Uh, there's towel rails in here. Uh, got a uh, hatch there with a fan. Uh, we've got um, double glazed windows, uh, full block out blinds also on these models. We've also got, moving across into the um, vanity area, we've got a uh, sink with a mixer tap, there's overset, overhead cupboards, uh, power points, lighting, glass mirror, um, storage underneath the vanity as well. So there's ample storage in this caravan for such a compact caravan. A uh, little drop down on the, on the bottom there with a little bit more storage. So we've tried to utilise every single piece of space we can to give you room to put things. Moving over to the other side, we've got our glass pivot doors, both sides, and this is the shower. So it's a one piece moulded fibreglass shower, again with a, a, a hatch and a fan. Uh, nice contemporary chrome hardware, it's quite a deep shower base so it can also be used as a small bath for small kids and um, that's connected up to your gas electric hot water again as we said plenty of overhead cupboards here um, with shelves in there so you can pl fit plenty of food board games other personal effects all those things you like to take away with you plenty of overhead cupboards in the main bedroom as well led tv standard uh, we can upgrade that to a smart TV if that was something of interest to you. Um, or you can just use a uh, Google Chromecast or something like that on this TV as standard to be able to play your Netflix and KO. Hanging space for your jackets and other things you might like to take away. And that's also got a powered nook underneath it, complete with USB points so you can charge your phones while you're sleeping. Moving on to the battery system, we've got a BM Pro Battery Plus 35-2HA. That's a lithium battery charging system complete with the Bluetooth Odyssey Link 104 and the RV View 2 battery and water gauge system. All your isolation switches and everything are all there in just one compact cupboard. So really easy to get access to if you ever have a problem. We also add a pull-out bench onto this model van, which just gives you that little bit more bench space uh, obviously, being such a small, compact van, we want to give you as much room as possible to be able to prepare your food, do your dishes and all those types of things. And we've got metal side drawers, uh, loads of cupboard spacing underneath the sink there as well. Just tuck the piping all the way to the side. Uh, and then we've got the Dometic um, four burner stove and mini grill and a nice big pot drawer underneath there to keep those larger items. And uh, just show you here, just closing down the lid. So the glass lid of the stove, but then the, the recessed cooktop, that just provides that extra space we were talking about earlier. Plenty of storage in underneath the bed. We've got a pillow top queen size mattress here. Beautiful mattress, really comfortable. And uh, you can get access in underneath the bed from both outside and also from inside the van as well. So there's storage all the way through there. And you've also got your tunnel boot that runs through from the outside.
And we know that everybody likes to have a little bit of extra light and a little bit of extra air in their caravan. So we've uh, fitted the Dometic Seats Hecky 2 Skylight into this van, um, which has got a couple of locking positions. It's got a uh, full block out blind, also got a fly screen so you can uh, keep it open and not let the flies through. This model also comes with a night light and a day light, which is uh, switched separately. And uh, that allows you just to have a, a bit of a night light in the middle of the night. Got a really good sized Dometic fridge freezer in this one, 186 litres. Uh, it's a, it is a tropical rated fridge. So it's auto energy sensing, plenty of room in there for all of your food, drinks, keep them nice and cold. Uh, this has been one of the most popular fridges Dometic's ever had and uh, they work extremely efficiently on gas and 240 volt and will run on 12 volt while you're in transit in the car. Nice big drawer in underneath just to be able to put extra perishables and food and stuff in there and a little access door underneath to get through to your service cupboard for your water pumps etc. Got the Dometic Ibis 4 reverse cycle air conditioner, uh, that's what's currently available. Uh, obviously, if uh, you're buying a new van and there's a new model, you'd get the new model. Moving on to our uh, table here, which we said we'd talk to you about a little bit later on. Um, this uh, table moves into just about any position you can think of. Slides, pivots, drops down to be able to convert the lounge into a bed. Um, it's a very, very versatile table. Probably one of the most popular products that we've uh, had join the caravan industry in a long, long time. So just showing you here how easy it is to drop this uh, table down to be able to then use this lounge as an extra bunk. So you'd be able to comfortably sleep five people in this van. One of the things that Atlantic like to do is they do an integrated diffused lighting system, LED lighting system underneath the overhead cupboards. Just helps to add a really nice feel to the van. That's on both sides for the overheads. Got the range hood there, which is integrated with its own clock as well. And there's a, a reading lamp for him and her, him and him, or her and her, whichever way you like to go. And on the outside of the van here, just having a nice look at the front of the van, we're gonna start showing around the outside now. Beautiful looking shape. Great toolbox on the front of this. Plenty of room in here to fit all of your leads, your chocks, your wheel ramps, all those types of things. You don't want all the smells and stuff getting inside. We've got two jerry can holders, one on either side, and they're both lockable with a chain. Two gas bottles, uh, manual changeover valve for your gas bottles there. And uh, we've got drop down corner stabilizers on each corner, grab handle on each corner. Got a nice big tunnel boot goes all the way through underneath the, the queen size bed so access both sides and there's also lighting in there. Now we've got a roll out awning from Dometic, we've got a pull out step which is complete with a, an LED light in it for night time. We've got our roll out awning here as I said from Dometic with a couple of awning lights as well and uh, there's a few options there. This one's complete with bug lights so it has standard lighting and then orange lights to help to keep the bugs away, or yellow lights. We've got the uh, Malenko entry door and a grab handle off to the side there. And the entry door's got a uh, four point locking system, which is all made with stainless steel locks. And they use the same mesh in those as what they use in the crim safe um, style mesh for the door, complete with a roll out blind. Uh, and as you can see, that allows absolutely ample airflow through there in the summertime. So we can uh, make sure we get maximum airflow through. And just the roller blind there, that's a block out blind. So it doesn't let any light through the door at the window height. And there's also a catch there to, to secure the door back against the outside of the caravan. Got a uh, picnic table on the side, uh, complete with an integrated LED light. So at night time, that'll illuminate where you uh, put your food and your drinks and uh, or stereo or anything else like that. We've got our drop down corner stabilizers, drop down, then wind down to help to stabilize the van when you're inside. 
got mud flaps. We've got the Elko Enduro cross country suspension system on this van, uh, which is super strong, tough, reliable, complete with pedders, springs, and shocks. We've got 16 inch alloy wheels, 12 inch brakes, uh, off road uh, tire package. We've got two 95 litre water tanks. There's a provision for a grey water tank, so that's easy to add in there if you wanted one, just for the uh, off grid experience. We've got two water fillers. Independent filling there for those. We've got our cassette for our toilet, which is a Thetford toilet, which we explained to you earlier. And that just slides out through the side there. Got a pull up handle so you can walk that off to go and just empty that out at the dump point. Nice and easy to use. As you can see on the side of the van, we've got higher checker plate. We've also got a checker plate double battery box underneath. So we fit these with one standard battery. Uh, there's room in there to put the second one. And as we said, uh, available to be able to have with lithium, with the lithium battery charging system. The standard battery is AGM, but that's sufficient for most cases for a few days off grid. There's also a provision underneath here for an auxiliary solar panel to be plugged in, just to help to top that up if you need to chase the sun. And, uh, and we sell those solar panels in our online store as well, if that was something of interest to you, ourvanrv.com.au. So there you have it, folks. That is the Endeavour E1871F family van. Bridget and Josh just chilling out, having a coffee out underneath the awning. So if you've got any other questions on this van, feel free to give us a call. Uh, we'd be happy to show you through the van. So see ourvanrv.com.au and don't forget to download the app and like and subscribe our page. So hopefully we can see you at the dealership soon. Thanks again and thanks for watching.